exact flat for SOLIDWORKS. Today we're going to demonstrate the grain line and marking feature of exact flat. And what we've got here is we've got open simultaneously our pattern environment on the left and our nesting environment on the right. Exact flat is fully associative between these two environments. What we mean by that is the changes that are made in one environment automatically propagate to the other environments. And we're going to demonstrate that feature right now, showing how when grain lines and markings are added in the pattern uh, view, it automatically updates the nest. We, we think this is the first time that any company has offered this, and we are um, uh, wondering why it's taken so long for the market to really catch on. But nevertheless, uh, let's just get right into it. As you can see, we've already started here. And what we do is we, uh, with respect to grain lines, we just use SOLIDWORKS sketch entities. So we just um, select the sketch tool, put a point of origin and a point of termination, and select the grain line feature, click OK, and there it is. And you'll notice as we do that, the grain lines are going to be updated, updating the, uh, the uh, orientation of the pieces in the nest. So let's actually have a look at that very carefully here. So we're putting a grain line in there, and we're going to go to Exact Flat, select the grain line tool, and boom, it's updated. Now you can see the nest has changed. And we'll try and make a, a little bit more dramatic uh, adjustments to these two subsequent pieces. Um, actually, let's just pull this one over here. Yeah, there we go. We select our SOLIDWORKS sketch tool, pick a point of origin and a point of termination, click on the grain line, click OK, and there you see the nest being updated. This time, just actually pay particular attention to the nest on the right-hand side. So as we do this, just watch as we click OK. We're just going to click on the grain line tool now. Now watch on the right-hand side. As we do that, the pieces will automatically reorient themselves. Yeah, that's a bit more dramatic. Now we should see it. There. So you can see that if we have uh, fabrics with a nap or with a grain line feature, uh, it's very easy to associate grain lines to CAD geometry and very, very easy to update them. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a nest here. So let's just adjust this to 20 copies. There we go. We'll change that to 20. Click OK. And we can go ahead and start our nest going. We'll delete the previous one and click Nest. There we go, click Nest. And the nesting process is working with our updated grain, informa grain line information, which we just entered. Now that will run in the background, and we're just going to keep that ticking away. And we're going to show you how we put uh, markings on our pattern pieces. These markings could be representative of uh, places where appliques are going to be, where hardware is going to be attached, or uh, just reference information that you want to attach to pieces to differentiate one from the other, or possibly for specific sewing instructions or assembly instructions that are subsequent to come. And you can see that, again, what we do is we just use uh, standard SOLIDWORKS sketching tools and assign those or apply those to our pattern pieces. And there's our markings. We're going to put a bunch of different markings here. What I want to do is I want to put some markings on here. And as our nest is running, we're going to export this and show you how the markings will be manifest on the cut file. These uh, will be able to be defined as layers in our DXF, so we could assign a number of different attributes to them depending on what are our specific purposes here. But we'll just go put a few things on these pattern pieces for now. And if you wanted to edit these markings, it's a simple matter as well. If you don't uh, 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 feel the markings are the, f are the, are the right or appropriate uh, uh, marking for the task that you have at hand, it's very easy to edit. Again, just using standard SOLIDWORKS sketching tools, uh, they can be applied very easily. We'll click OK there. So the sequence is we select our piece. We select the sketch entity we want. In this case, it's going to be a circle. And we'll put a, a spline in here. And once the sketching is done, we apply the marking by clicking on the marking tool and clicking OK. 
And we have our last piece here, just to demonstrate how it's done. Click Marking, and then OK. Now let's go back and check in on our nest. You can see that our nest has been working away in the background. It has completed itself, so we're going to accept this nest. We set it to run for a minute, close that out. And despite the fact that our nest was working in the background, and when we started the nesting process, we did not have the markings uh, on the pattern pieces. And you can see that they update in real time. And here we're just going to uh, export um, this nest to a DSF, and we're going to just select the uh, Eastman cutter. And here's the exported file. And there you have it. And if we zoom in here, what you'll notice is you can see the markings on the pattern pieces, fully associative between pattern engineering and nesting. The first of its kind, only in SOLIDWORKS, and from ExactFlat. And if we wanted to go and edit these pieces, it's a simple matter of uh, editing the sketch entities, saving and exporting as well, and um, the nest will be updated. So. If you have any questions, you can give us a call or you can visit us at our website www.exactflat.com and we'd be love to tell you we'd love to tell you more and we'd love to hear from you.